wouldn't go anywhere without you, little brother. You're a big reason why these dreams come true. I was a little bit worried about the crowd. I don't think they liked an American winning the championship. Ah, they just wanted a good fight. We gave it to them, didn't we? Time is great. to win tonight. I couldn't help it. It wasn't much competition. <laughs> An American could never be champion. You shouldn't have won a fight tonight. And you won't win this one. I do my best fighting in the ring, man. Besides that, me and my brother... <laughs> Remember me, Pop.
You show me yours, I'll show you mine. thought about what happens to the kids who use this? Have you seen what it does to them? Who cares? I care, Jackson. Hey, my name ain't Jackson. You a fucking social worker or something? Nah, Jackson. I ain't a social worker. But I'm the next best thing. I'm a cop. <laughs> 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 hey, man, hey, hey, that's a good one. You're okay. Hell, you can hang with us anytime, right, guys? A fucking cop. Nah, just a plain old cop. Fucking's got nothing to do with it, really. I am. Look, here's my badge, and I'm wearing a wire. Damn it. He's doing it again, Sarge. Guys... I'm not gonna be needing you after all. I can handle these assholes by myself. Jesus Christ! Get in there now. Officer in trouble, repeat. Officer in trouble, code 1099. Oh man, you've just made a big mistake. You're gonna die now. Not today, Jackson. Not today! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I never see it. I've heard about it. I want to see it. I'm not asking for much. Just routine. I'm only the captain, for Christ's sake. Give me a break, you bunch of assholes. Who the fuck do you think you are? I sent the backup for your protection. God damn it. I gave them the address. It's not my fault they went to the wrong building. You told them, I quote, Empire Industrial Park, Building 5. See? Very clear, very concise. But you were in Building 4. Now, what kind of crap is that? Look, the bottom line is, I get the job done. No, the bottom line is, I can only cover you for so long. We've been through the fire before, Cap. Did you have to take the wire off? Where the hell was your weapon, Jake? You're the best undercover cop I've ever seen. But you're just pissing it away. Look, I had to get the bus and I got it. Clean. No problems in court. Except for cries of police brutality. Those bastards are going away for a long time. End of story. Cheer up, Cap. We got the bad guys and that's what we get paid for. It's like the old West out there. And we're wearing the white hats. Well, cowboy, I've got a case for you that might be just what we both need. Interpol paid me a visit today, asked about a loan out. And you lucky stiff, I'm going to send you over there. Me? What's the op? Something about illegal movies. Sounds like some pretty light stuff compared to what you do around here every day. Well, where's over there? My luck, it'll be Jersey. No, it's better than Jersey. Thailand. Bangkok, to be exact. They want you to pose as a fighter so the bad guys will pick you for their movie. Sounds like fun, gives you a chance to get away from here. Look, I'm right in the middle of a case here, Cap. I don't think... Nobody pays you to think, Jake. The timing on this is great. We all need a break. I'm not going to Thailand. Relax. Whatever you're into, I'll arrange to have covered. It's a dream assignment, for Christ's sake. Not in Thailand, it's not. Jake, take the file and tapes. Go home, study them first. Before you do anything as fucking stupid as disobeying a direct order. You got that? I'm not going to Thailand. You got that? Oh, no. Take it easy, Jack. like a Bruce Lee movie without Bruce.
Yeah, Donahue. Jake, yeah, I just called to let you know that you're off the hook on this Thailand thing. I've assigned Murphy to it. Yes, Interpol... No! It's my assignment! I'm going! Jake? I said I'm going! Jake? The longer I sit here with you, the more of a chance we have of getting nailed. You're paranoid. I'm still alive, which is more than I can say for the men you've already sent in. Okay. Here's the rest of the file you see for New York. Now, the deaths of these films are for real. It's where the action and the market is. The business is very good, but to meet the demand, somebody has to get killed. Yeah. All foreigners. Unfortunately. The Oriental market is the biggest. They like to see Ford and Blood. Jesus. I thought they were sick in the city. You tell me about it. I'm gonna meet once a week for a progress report. I'm gonna set you Hold up. it, hold it. I appreciate your plan, but it's not gonna work. Jake, you haven't heard the plan yet. Has anything you've set up worked before? Oh, yeah. People get killed doing it your way, so I have an idea. Let's try something different, okay? Are you finished yet? No, I'm just getting started, Anderson. This is deep cover, okay? Just let me do my job. Stay the fuck away from me. And I'll get him. It's a little dangerous, baby. That's why I get the big salary. Well, I heard you were unorthodox. But good. Yeah. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. Anderson, we're professionals, right? Don't take it personally. I don't take anything personal. Just get these motherfuckers. Don't worry. I plan to. Anything else I can do for you? Jake! Jake! Uh, I still haven't seen a script. What's going on in this scene? You're starting with action. Never mind. Just walk on the set like you're stalking an enemy. He should do very well. He's a very accomplished fighter. Yes, indeed, indeed. Bring me some fresh blood, Mr. McKinney. Without talent, we have nothing. No problem. What about the choreography? Isn't someone going to set the movements for us? Dan, you told me you could handle this. Of course I can. It's no problem. Ah, one question. Uh, should I be really hitting them, like, in full contact? Not at the beginning. I clue you. Just fight them like you would in real... in practice. With speed. Ready? Go in, Dan. Yeah! Shit! You really hit me! It was an accident, Dan. Keep going. We're rolling. What's going on? Looks great, looks great, don't stop. How's that? Look good on film? Jesus, how am I supposed to work tomorrow? You don't have to work tomorrow. But my schedule says. Oh. You fucker! 
I don't write them. I just shoot them. Come on! What the fuck are you waiting for? Okay. Let's make magic. Come on! They're waiting for me. in Bangkok. Best in Thailand. Best in the world. <laughs> I wanted to see what real kickboxing was like. What are you saying? <laughs> tell you the truth, I'm a little disappointed. Your students wouldn't last five minutes in the fighters here. Where are they? Where the fighters that Thailand is known for. They sure as hell aren't here. Once, huh? At least it evens the odds a little. you, Pops. You want some of this? Huh? We need a training school, but the fed got a big fight. You leave now? Now!
You've got to be kidding. You have more taste than I gave you credit for. Thank you, ladies. You will be with Khan tonight. Uh-uh. No way. I'd rather be bludgeoned. I'm out of here. Whatever happened to consenting adults? You have no choice. Khan has chosen you. You will go with him. Like hell. Jesus. I love women of fire. Which exile women be like that? <laughs> wash for you before you are not Thai how do you know the custom I must be clean for you I won't be long to me. Is there a problem, Khan? No problem. Second or third. 
You boys want it, you're gonna have to play to get it! Well, I can tell you guys are gonna need help on this one. Hey, you got me, man. I surrender. Take me to your leader. Wait! Oh, I needed that. Hi, my name's Jake. You come here often? My major sociology. I'm doing a study in human nature. My name's Molly. safer, no guns. Give me a little credit, will you? What are you doing in Bangkok, sailor? I'll tell you later once you fill in the details for me. Tell me what you know. You're a nice girl from a small town in Pennsylvania. Came here to be a model, maybe an actress. But I don't think it worked out quite like you planned. Now you don't want to stay here, but you can't go home. How's that? Pretty good. Tell fortunes, too. So what do you think I'm doing now? Picking fights late at night. I think they stole your dreams, Molly. They took advantage of a good person. They deserve to be punished. And who's going to do the punishing? You? I just might. My crusade card's a little booked right now, though. Okay. Your turn. I promise. I'm trying to find somebody. Hmm. An old friend. Glad we just met. Can I help? After all, I owe you. Maybe. We'll see. kickboxing school you're following me a regular Joe looking for a fight you are no ordinary fighter thanks for the compliment I'll give you the address to my fan club it's not man as a compliment you're not here for a fight you're after something else and what would that be you tell me wrong answer pal I'm just here to make some money in the ring you don't stand a chance you were at the school. You saw what I did to those three guys. You have never faced a real kickboxing. 
And who's gonna show it to me? You? If you wish. All right. Come on. I don't want to hurt you. It's not me who will be hurt. You! Do you see what I mean? And I'm not even considered a good fighter. You go up against a professional, you get hurt permanently. Why are you doing this? Why are you here? I told you. I'm looking for a fight. But after what you just did to me, I gotta admit. I'm gonna need something if I'm gonna beat him. Beat who? You are no match for him. He will destroy you. No great loss, right? Just another goddamn American parade. Thanks for nothing. Wait! Why, you want to show me some more moves? I know a fighter, a master. Who? His name is Prang. He fought Khan, the only one who came close to beating him, had him beaten. Prang is a reckless now, wants nothing to do with the world. Who does? Why are you helping me? I hate to see helpless Americans. Know many? My father. Can you tell me where he is? He lives north of Bangkok, in a small village along the bank of Menam River. He is a hermit. He could help you prepare for Khan if he's willing. He may not be. Excuse me. I'm looking for a man called Prang. Is this where he lives? Uh, yeah. Is he home? No! Well, do you know him? I know him well. Very well. What do you want? It's personal. Look, tell me when he's going to be home. I must talk to him. He will be home when I... Uh, when he get here. You're him? You're praying? One of Thailand's greatest fighters? Go away! Nobody want you here! You know what's funny? I came out here on that boat to ask you to train me, to teach me. All you could teach me is what life looks like from the inside of a bottle. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I 
I bet it doesn't. But I'm going to need more than that to solve my problems. I thought you'd be the answer. It was a good joke, I got to admit that. Goodbye, master. Good riddance. successful yet. Congratulations. It's not enough. We can do better. How's that? We need more tension. More people. <laughs> what do you have in mind, Khan? You want to fight more than one? I once killed a man while his young brother watched. If we can. Yes. I think I know what you mean. If we involve people that the fighters cared about, think of the possibilities, the pathos, and the look on their faces when they see their loved ones killed will add a dimension we've never had before. It's beautiful, a stroke of genius. <laughs> I love it, Khan. <laughs> Let's do it. Mr. McKinney, it's up to you to find us what we need. I'm aware of that, but it shouldn't be too hard. In fact, I already have somebody in mind. I just misplaced him for the moment. Well, get to work. The sooner we can pull this together, the sooner we can go into production. <laughs> Thank you, Con. Keep up the good work. Oh, uh, by the way, have you found your sweet lady? Not yet. Imagine that. The world's fiercest killer, and he can't keep a woman in his own bed. We ought to make a movie out of that. <laughs> <laughs> asked for your help. I told you to go away. When I started fighting him, why didn't you jump in? I wanted to see how good you were. You're not bad. Give me a break. Besides, I had him right where I wanted him. Give me a break. You're pretty good. Even I believed you were drunk. Impressive. I've had years of practice. I guess you were looking for this. My monkey took it from your bag. I'm sorry. Thanks. Well, I guess you have a good reason for this. I don't understand it, but I respect it. 
I'll leave you alone. Are you sure you'll have to run off? Why, you got some other guys you want me to fight? I'd like to invite you to dinner. Don't you want to be left alone? I'd like to talk to you. I hope you're serving monkey meat. <laughs> <laughs> I had him beaten, but my concentration was broken, as well as four of my ribs. this ever since. Why the drunk act? I was a threat to Khan. But a drunken hermit is a threat to no one. Revenge was on my mind for a time. But that passed. I am not proud of what I have become. You're still one hell of a fighter. What are you doing back here in Thailand? Ten years ago, I turned and ran, leaving my my brother dead in the gutter. I convinced myself that Khan didn't matter until I saw him in that film. I won't run away again. He won't stop at just a scar this time. You beat him, you can help me. Teach me to stop him. Is your goal to kill him? I will not teach a murderer. Would you rather teach a liar? This one technique is unstoppable. What I have to offer might not be enough. It has to be. I have to face him, and I have to win. For myself, you, and for my brother. We start tomorrow. What? Your re-education. We have a lot of work to do. Thank you. I do it for myself, too. Besides, you won't be thanking me tomorrow. We go to bed now. Touch me in the night and I'll kill you. The monkey loves that kind of talk. Time to get up. Exist. You keep saying that, but I don't see you out here breaking these things. Whoa. 
Bondage praying? I didn't know you were into that. Praying, this isn't funny. Yeah. Huh. Hey! Let me down! Let me down! His point is your legs. Hey. Khan will attack them. Hey! So I must attack them first. Back soon. Please let me down. Hey, hey, Must be ready for anything. I was just washing my face for Christ's sake. For Khan's sake, stay aware. One hand clapping. What the hell does this stuff mean? That's the trouble I always have with the Orient, this mystical shit. You really know what it means? Of course. Okay, tell me. Doesn't work that way. Have to find out for yourself. Bullshit, you don't know. Do too. Now get back to your meditation. I'm listening to a fucking drunk. Worthless piece of shit, American. I heard that. I wanted you to. Why you stop? If this is your idea of training, you're crazy. You want to be ready for Khan? Then keep going! Forget about it! All this shit's doing is burning what little time I have left. This is the way that I learned. Yeah, and how far did that get you? What? You lost! I can't afford to lose! Thank 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. It's okay. I did lose. That's not the version I heard. I just don't want to blow this chance at con, that's all. I apologize for what I said. Without your help, I don't stand a chance. We both want the same thing. Together, we can succeed. I know that. I'll do whatever you say. Ha! 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 Tea master had to face the warrior in a fight to the death the next day. He went to a master swordsman for help. The swordsman told him there was nothing he could teach him that would enable him to win against the warrior. Then he asked him to make tea for him. While the tea master prepared the tea, he was completely concentrated. Nothing else intruded, nothing else existed. When the tea was done, the swordsman smiled. He said, tomorrow, face the warrior, sword in hand, with the same attitude. Your mind empty, ready to face death. When the warrior saw that the tea master was completely ready to die, he turned and ran away. The warrior who clings to life will surely die. He who embraces death will survive. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I think so. You want me to learn to make tea? Even you could not be so stupid. I have in many ways been running from death while at the same time hoping for it to find me. It's been 10 years now and death is just around the corner. I'm ready to face it. I don't fear it. Then you stand a chance against Khan. Your only chance. Jake sent me a letter. Life isn't fair. How's he doing? He's training hard. He could use a break from the routine. But he must stay focused, concentrated. Don't worry. He will. Hey! Jake! Hey, Jake! Yeah! That's it. Your lesson's over. But I'm not finished yet! You always argue. I let up and still you give me shit. Into the water with your sorry ass. Okay? Oh, oh praying. My legs feel so much better. Praying? Praying. I don't see anything wrong with your legs, big boy. Molly. Expecting someone else? Prank. Oh, something you haven't told me about you and Prank, huh? Get back in the tub. What? Don't worry. 
You're not breaking training. I'm here with Prang's blessing. That dirty old man. What do you have in mind? Poor boy's been working so hard. I think you should have a massage, don't you? Oh, yes. Definitely, yes. Have you ever had a Thai body massage? No, what do I have to do? Just, uh... Concentrate.
Bullshit, I won. Trust me, this is more important. Besides, I'm gonna make it worth a while. Let's find... Let's find the best This better be good. I just made about 200 bucks. If it's not, you can always come back. Huh? True. Lead on. I didn't want you to waste your time for Ramble, Jake. Are you a promoter? Better. I work with a production company. Movies, my boy. And I can make you a star. Well, I appreciate your interest, Mr. McKinney, but I'm a fighter, not an actor. We need a fighter, but we'll pay you as an actor. How much does an actor get paid? <laughs> 20000 U.S.? Of course, and that's just a start. It's only the beginning, Jake. Don't I have to take a screen test or something? No, no. I've seen all I need to say. Hey, I shouldn't have to sell this to you. There are plenty. No, no. I want to do it. <laughs> so, uh, who will I be working with? Anybody famous? Van Damme, Norris, Jackie Chan? We don't want anybody to upstage you. It's your gig. Upstage gig? Is this really happening? I'm going to be the star. It's the chance of a lifetime. But you have to keep it under your hat. If you don't, you'll blow it. Don't even tell that fine lady out there. I won't tell a soul. Honest. After all, I haven't been here in Bangkok that long. Who would I tell? Okay. It's a deal. Report to this address tomorrow morning. I'll be there. You can count on me, Mr. McKinney. <laughs> I knew I could, kid. I'll only be gone for a little while. When I come back... Take her away from all this, Jake. Anderson, I thought you were better than this. We had a deal. We did have a deal. New information has come to light. Would you excuse us, my dear? She's cute. Been a busy boy, huh, Jake? Put your gonads on hold, Anderson. You got something for me? I do. Cap, what the fuck are you doing here? Am I dreaming? I wish it was a dream, Jake. We know what happened 10 years ago. Ancient history. Call the anthropologist. Has no bearing on this case. We also know that Khan was involved. You crossed the line, Jake. I'm pulling you out. You can't. Pardon me? They made contact this afternoon. I'm in. You're in? Yeah. I don't know if I should tell you guys. They told me to keep it quiet. Well, okay, okay. I guess I can trust you. Look, I report tomorrow morning to be the star. I bought his rap hook, hook, line, and sinker. You're on a plane tomorrow, Jake. Tell him, Anderson. I've never gotten anyone this far before. I've already lost three men. But I can't afford to let this go. No. Look, I don't have to work with you. I can tell you guys to go fuck yourselves. Disappear and you'd never find me. Shit, Anderson and his Interpol goons couldn't stop me from leaving this restaurant if I wanted to. You know that, Cap. I could do this on my own, but there's another way. We're listening. He's listening. I'm seething! Look, here's the plan. Keep me in and we do it together. I wrote down the address so you can come watch my back. Don't fuck with me this time, Jake. Cap, would I do that to you? <laughs> Is 
So what happens tomorrow? I face the past. Will you come back here to me? If I can. Can't you just walk away from it? Let someone else handle it. No, I can't, okay? It has to be me, and you have to accept that. But what about us? Look, if I don't take care of this, us doesn't stand a chance. Can you understand that? I think so. Have you heard about the football players who won't have sex the night before a big game? Sure, why? You think they have a point? No, not really. Good. Jake, I'll take what I can get with you. And right now, I've got you. Don't do that! The superior fighter is always aware. The superior teacher doesn't scare the shit out of his student. Let me go with you. No can do. You gotta stay here and worry. I'll call you if I'm gonna be too late. Be careful. Khan can kill you. Aren't you supposed to send me off confident, ready to take on the world? You know the odds. Whatever I say can't change that. You got money on the other guy? I put it all on you. But who would take the bet? Quit trying to cheer me up. Watch Molly for me, okay? Thanks. I'd love to stay, but I've got places to go, people to see.
that again. I didn't mean to hit them. No problem. Very realistic. Keep it up. We're rolling. You're doing great, Jake. <laughs> Get a doctor! This is a little too real for me, man. I'm through. The show must go on! production now, Jake. Gives you a little more motivation. Fight and win and you both go free. Life will be your prize. <laughs> Mr. McKinney, no time, no time. Keep it moving. Action! Move in tight. That's great. Great!
We knew Khan couldn't last forever. Keep shooting. Well, he's our new star. Give him the close-ups, Mr. Director. <laughs> Jack! Okay. think I'm stupid. That line of crap is okay for the rookies, but I'm your captain. Remember that. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir.
I wouldn't go anywhere without you, little brother. You're a big reason why this dreams come true. I was a little bit worried about the crowd. I don't think they liked an American winning the championship. Ah, they just wanted a good fight. We gave it to them, didn't we? Time to break. to win tonight. I couldn't help it. It wasn't much competition. <laughs> An American could never be champion. You shouldn't have won a fight tonight. And you won't win this one. fighting in the ring, man. Besides that, me and my brother... <laughs> for your protection. God damn it. I gave them the address. It's not my fault they went to the wrong building. You told them, I quote, Empire Industrial Park, Building 5. See? Very clear, very concise. But you were in Building 4. Now, what kind of crap is that? 
The bottom line is, I get the job done. No, the bottom line is, I can only cover you for so long. We've been through the fire before, Cap. Did you have to take the wire off? Where the hell was your weapon, Jake? You're the best undercover cop I've ever seen, but you're just pissing it away. Look, I had to get the bus and I got it. Clean. No problems in court. Except for cries of police brutality. Those bastards are going away from me. Looking damn good. <laughs> Woo! Not bad, boys. My turn, huh? I think you cheated me. Maybe I'll just keep them both. <laughs> ah, there's not a penny missing, Jackson. So do yourself a favor and put the gun away happily. Maybe I'll see you get more of my business. <laughs> ah, I hate to put a damper on your little party. But have you guys thought about what happens to the kids who use this? Have you seen what it does to them? Who cares? I care, Jackson. Hey, my name ain't Jackson. You a fucking social worker or something? Nah, Jackson. I ain't a social worker. But I'm the next best thing. I'm a cop. <laughs> hey man, hey, hey, that's a good one. You're okay. Hell, you can hang with us anytime, right guys? A fucking cop. Nah, just a plain old cop. Fucking's got nothing to do with it, really. I am. Look, here's my badge, and I'm wearing a wire. Damn it. He's doing it again, Sarge. Guys, I'm not going to be needing you after all. I can handle these assholes by myself. Jesus Christ. Get in there now. Officer in trouble, repeat. Officer in trouble, code 1099. Oh, man, you just made a big mistake. You're going to die now. Not today, Jackson. Not today. Something to remember me by. Five minutes. Let's keep the chatter to 
to a minimum. He's gone in. Give me the word control. You'll be the first to know. Show me yours, I'll show you mine. 